Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to create a bootable macOS installer. Having a bootable USB installer for macOS is a great and easy way to install or reinstall macOS. Today we're going to be making one for macOS Big Sur. However, the steps are similar if you need to do it for an older operating system such as Catalina or Mojave. So, let's get straight into it. Before you start, you will need to have a USB stick which is 16 gigabytes or larger. This may depend on which version of macOS you're installing. Older versions may only need an 8GB USB, however, for more recent versions of macOS, you will need a minimum of 16GB. You also need to have a copy of the macOS installer for your desired version of macOS. Once you have all these things, you'll be ready to go. To start off, you will need to open Terminal. So to do this, go to the top right hand corner of your screen and click this little search button and type in terminal and then click enter when it shows up then type sudo space and then what you're not going to need to go do is go to your finder and then we're going to be locating the installer for mac os so in most cases this should be in the applications folder and then scroll down until you find the install mac os um, big sur or whatever your version is uh, so then right click or in, it might be a two finger click or you can just go control click there's a few different ways to do that then click show package contents and double click on contents then resources and then scroll down until you find the create install media file so then you'll need to drag this into your terminal window and then after you do this type dash dash volume space and now comes the time where you're going to need to plug in the USB drive into your computer so plug it in and then wait for it to show up on the desktop and uh, while we're waiting for that just be warned that this process will erase the USB drive so if there's any important files on there make sure they're backed up before you use it so that should show up any second now And there we go. So you can see it's shown up on the desktop. So then drag this USB drive into your terminal window. And then once that once that's done, click enter. You'll need to type your administrator password. And then it'll give you a warning before you do it. So to start the process, type Y and then click enter. And that will start the process of creating the installation media. So it'll start by erasing the disk and then it will copy the files to the disk and then it will give you um, a dialog. It'll sh show that you that the process is complete. So that should, it could take anywhere between half an hour to an hour just depending on the speed of your USB and also the speed of the disk in your computer. Alternatively, there is also a link on Apple's website which gives you the um, the stuff you need to type in for you. So if you just type in how to create a bootable Mac OS installer, there will be an Apple link, an Apple support link. If you just click on that, it gives you some instructions like I've just told you today and it also has it for the different versions. So you can find the version you need and then all you need to do is just copy and paste this text into a new terminal window. Um, so I'll reopen terminal. Uh, and then you'll just paste it. And then what you'll just need to do is replace the volume name with the volume that you have. Um, this is a 
possibility to do it like this, but it's better to do it the method I've used because um, you don't need to change the names. And also, if your installer isn't in the applications folder, then you would need to change this as well. So it's just a bit more complex doing it like this. I'll link a link to Apple's website and also the um, text you'll need to do this in the description of this video. So uh, yeah, hopefully this was helpful. Um, thanks for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to leak, leave a like and subscribe as usual to stay tuned for more content on this channel. And with that, I'll see you all in the next video.